All right, so welcome back to another BG6 video, and today we are going to be placing Sada's until we lose here, all right? So we have Sada here. We're going to plop down a Sada. Um, we are using the Unlimited Heroes mod, which means that we can place down unlimited Sada's here. So we're going to start off, and I know this looks super duper OP. Also, drop a like. Let's try it at 100 likes. We're, we're trying that. I'm sorry. Um, let's place down another Sada here. Um, but I know this seems super duper OP, but what happens is when you place multiple heroes in BTD6, the XP gets distributed between all the heroes and stuff. So you have 20 Sadas, now they're all going way, way slower here. And so even though this looks really, really strong, they're going to be leveling up way, way slower here. However, on the other hand though, every single Sada we place, because of Monkey Knowledge, gets an ability here though. So we're going to have so many Sada abilities here though. So we're going to keep placing out Sadas here, and hopefully we can absolutely shred here. Um, the one problem is probably going to be DDTs here. If we do end up making it that far, um, which I hope we can make it that far, but Sada does not have lead pine power until she levels up to like, I don't know what she needs to get lead pine power. Maybe, I don't know if she can even hit leads without her abilities, um, but if we can't get any level 10 Sada's here, then we are going to need some deep doo-doo when DDTs come along here. But we'll worry about that later here. Let's just keep placing Sada's here and see what happens. Um, it's so hot right now. I'm like... I don't know what happens, but like basically like it's going from like winter to spring um, in the United States basically. And so the heat is still on in the building I'm in, but it's super hot outside right now. So it's like, oh my God, I might just take my shirt off. That's just crazy. It's kind of crazy that you can do that. But like while recording, like I could just take my shirt off and it's like, you know, that, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna keep playing Sasada's here. Cubism is a really nice map because Sada gets a lot of value in these like spots right here where she has, has like 316 motion. But look at this first Sada. I forgot which one was the first one he placed, the one with the highest XP. This is the first one. It's halfway to level three. Like by now, Sada should be at level four, um, very close to level five, I think. Um, that's just a guess, honestly. Um, we'll see as things go on. Like we, Sada will not be getting her level 10 ability for a long time. And honestly, if we keep placing out Sada's, Sada may never get her level 10 ability, which is really, really bad. So maybe we should stop placing out Sadas, but that's not the point of the video. We're gonna keep placing out Sadas here. Um, I actually just tried this video with Quincy's, and we lost on round 28 because we couldn't get lead detection because Quincy was leveling up too slow. Um, and it was too expensive to level him up. And so I thought Sada, Sada's like the strongest here. Sada's just like insane here out here. So I did feel like Sada's the the best move here. We'll see if Sada can do any better. Let's try and play Sada in these better spots here, right? Let's try and get all the better spots of the way and then we can focus on these outer skirt spots cuz they're, like, they're like this Sada right here. It's not in the worst spot by any means, but there are better spots here. Like, Sada can't even hit the balloons down here. Um, but luckily, Moab hitboxes are so big that when we go late game, this Sada will be able to hit everything, which is really, really good. But for now, we'll just play Sada like, oh, we can fit one in there. Beautiful. All right. And we'll keep going. Sada's so cheap, too. And we're also in easy mode. I was trying it in impoppable mode. Um, I've tried, like, I don't know, like, probably five different videos with this mod since doing... We, we did one a long time ago where we just messed around with this mod. Um, but I've done, like, five different videos with this mod trying to make it work. But it actually is just so weak and stuff. Like, if you try and do two hero chimps, it, it's, it, it's actually not so strong. And I think it's kind of a problem. Because, like, with a, you know, a YouTube thumbnail, I want to, like, be all, like, engaging and exciting, right? I want people to be like, wow, I can't believe that's possible. But if I go, like, you know... Can you beat chimps with infinite sawdust? People look at that and they're like, well, of course you can. You know, that's way too easy. And so it's like one of those things that like looks a lot easier than it actually is. And that's what I, that's the, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, we have sawed abilities. Come on, we have 15 of these abilities. Let's just spam them. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe we do need it. Maybe we should make an infinite Quincy's video anyway and just see how long Quincy can survive. Um, Because we might be able to find a way to get lead pine power if we like... Maybe we could, like, cheat a little bit and, like, use, like, a village or something. Um, but it'd be kind of an interesting series. Like, who could, which hero could survive the longest if you just place infinite of them, you know? Um, we'll keep fitting in these sawdust here. They're so cheap that, honestly, we are going to probably fill up the map here. I think, I don't know if we place them in optimally. It feels like there's, like, a spot right here, but there's not. Um, so we'll just keep placing them in this middle place right here. Let's just try and fill up this middle square, and then we'll go to this triangle right here. Um, we want to focus on these main triangles here, just to get sawdust on the most value here. Um, I'd say right now, we have so many of these abilities here, and these abilities are super good against balloons. So I think, honestly, we're probably good against ceramics. If there's, like, round 63... I know we don't, like, this ability isn't crazy strong, but the fact that we had 22 of these abilities, now 23, is absolutely insane. So we should be good against balloons, but mobs, on the other hand, are going to be really, really deadly here, right? Because the sword ability is not really good against mobs. It just places it on swords. I think it's not good against mobs. We'll see how it does. Um, 
And then DDTs are just so scary though. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this can hit DDTs. These can hit DDTs, but if this is our only DDT pawn power and Sada can't hit the DDTs with our main attack, we're in some deep doo-doo here. Um, and look at Sada right here. All right, it's round 37. Let's gotta use some abilities here. We'll just plop that down. Um, we can honestly just like spam the Sada abilities left and right as we want to. We just wanna make sure we have at least a few of them up in case we need some lead pawn power on hand. Um, so let's place some more Sadas here. The money's coming really quickly. Um, we'll keep going. Um, Boom, there we go. But look at this solder right here, right? Level four. This is the first solder we placed. They're a third of the way through level four. And since they started level three, that means they leveled up once and a third of a level. All right? And again, I think it goes, it gets exponentially more difficult, if, if I'm, I'm mistaken. I, I don't really know how it works, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Level 40. We're trying to make this around 100, by the way. I don't know if I established that, but around 100 is the goal. All right? Because around 40, of course you can make it to around 40. All right, here we go. Look at this. Camo leads. And actually, since Sada hits camo, we don't really have to worry about camo at all. But lead balloons are a huge problem here. We have 112 Sada abilities, though. Let's just spam them. Let's see what happens. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Okay, we can't even spam them all. There's just not enough pine power. Um, it looks like we can hit mobs. And that actually shredded the mobs really well. But the biggest problem here is going to be DDTs. All right? I know we said it at the start of the video. But DDTs are just so scary. Like, normally they're scary here. Um, but if we look at our Sada's here. All right? Guess what our first Sada is at here. All right? Boom. We are over halfway through level four. All right? That's the scary thing here. And the thing is, we're not going to upgrade any of the Sadas. We're going to keep placing Sadas. That's the video. We're placing Sadas, not upgrading them. So we're just going to have to hope that the level 3 ability... Can we defend Round 63 without abilities? No, I don't think we can. Let's spam some stuff. Oh, uh, we might have been able to. I don't know. We'll spam some abilities here just to defend. Sada's abilities are pretty... It, it, it's Level 3's ability is actually not bad. But it's just like, can it defend DDTs? Like, fortified DDTs? Can it defend, like... I don't know. This is going to be really interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it looks so cool though. Like, just look at all the stars. We're still struggling to lead balloons. Like, all this defense, we could probably defend, like, round 87 has, like, four or five CMGs. We could probably defend round 87 right now, but we probably, but we can't defend any lead balloons without one ability, you know? Like, that's just so crazy. Anyway, we're going to keep placing down stuff here, and then we'll check back, like, maybe round 80. All right, it's round 79 here. We have over 200 Sadas, right? You have 200 Sada abilities down here, which is absolutely insane. We're just finishing up here, right? You can fit a few more Sadas in the corner. We place them pretty decently. Um, there are some spots right here where it's like, dang, like, you know, maybe if we, we like went back and went really, really, really close to the track and stuff, maybe we could fit another Sada, but we did really decent overall here. Look at our first Sada. Our first Sada is not even to level five, which means all these Sadas are level three. And so that means without monkey knowledge, like, oh my gosh, we'd be absolutely screwed here. But because we have monkey knowledge here, let's use every single ability. Let's see what it does. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right, we shredded that. There's so much things on the track. We're going to spam all our abilities and see what happens there. Just to showcase what it looks like here. It's actually kind of hard to spam and stuff because we're popping them a little bit too quickly here. Um, but that's going to be our strategy here, all right? If Sada can pop DDTs with our abilities, then we're great. We're chilling. But if they camp off DDTs, then I guess the video is just, like, screwed. I don't know what's going to happen. But look at all the Sadas. Like, they're all slicing and dying. It's so good. Um, There are some Sadas down here that just aren't going to really... Oh, we got 190 pops. I have no idea how this got 190 pops. Oh, it's because of their abilities. Okay, so they still do things because of their abilities. But the ones in the corner just aren't going to hit the track at all. Uh, maybe they'll hit the BID because the BID has a really big hitbox. Um, we're just going to keep spamming abilities here. This is absolutely, like, look at this. Like, this is absolutely crazy. I do not know. Like, the thing is, if we, even if we can pop, like, I'm sure we can pop one DDT. I feel like 200 Sada abilities should be able to pop one DDT. But, like, fortified DDTs and stuff, like, ugh, I don't know. All right, so it's round 87, and this will be a good indicator on how strong our defense will be late game without abilities here. So we're just going to wait and see if we can pop down these four ZMGs without abilities here, right? These are all level three Sadas here. And I, I know there's a spot right here. I can't seem to fit a Sod in here. Like, you can fit, like, an Ice Tower in here, right? Like, there's an Ice Tower. But you can't fit a Sod in here, unfortunately. So I think 206 Sadas is where we're going to sit here. Um, we do shred the four ZMGs pretty gosh darn well there. Um, pretty gosh darn well. I'd say they went through, like, a fourth of the map, maybe. Um, and so if there's like, you know, round like 92 or something, we should be defend stuff like round 92, but when we get to like round 98 and stuff, oh my goodness, like there's gonna be so many ZMGs fortified BFBs, not to mention the ceramics and stuff, 
I don't know what we're gonna do here because it looks like all these sawdust they're not upgrading at all like a few of these are at level four barely but these ones in the corner that we placed like you know ages ago they're still like halfway through level three here and the first one is still not to level five here um I'm very tempted to upgrade things because we have thirty six thousand dollars we could be allowed to upgrade things I don't know I kind of just want to see how Sada does here I'm gonna kind of just just for the sake of things we're gonna hold off for now and then if we lose maybe we'll spend some money then and see if Sada does better Sada's level 10 ability is really really good but let's just see if infinite 206 regular Sada's can defeat DDTZ all right here's some leads or definitely do some abilities here and we want, we want to kind of spread them out we don't want to use them all and then not have any for the next round the cooldown isn't too long though but let's spam these and see can we defend DDTs here come on oh yes we can oh Oh, that was so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Because we only used like, what? Like 20 of our abilities right there. And we shred three DDTs right there. So, um, there will be things layered over the other DDTs and stuff. But on round 95, since we have 30 DDTs, if it takes 20 abilities to pop three DDTs and stuff, then we just need 200 abilities. And that that's enough. Not to mention that we probably overkilled it a little bit. So, I think we do hopefully make it past round 95 it's gonna be a little bit close on that rate but i do think we probably only need like 10 or so to pop ddts i'm surprised it went down that fast because keep in mind these are level three abilities like think about like other heroes level three abilities like quincy's level three abilities he shoots a little bit faster gwendolyn throws a cocktail and stuff like they're not really big damaging abilities but for some reason it's doing a ton here because i guarantee you if we did quincy right now we would have lost already i think um maybe I don't know. Quincy, I don't know if Quincy could have defended a DDT. Actually, Quincy would not be able to defend anything because Quincy needs level 5 to get cam detection. And I think level 7 or 8 to get lead detection. Let's use some abilities here. Come on. Oh, do they have pierce or something? They're like hitting multiple, I think, at the once. Look at that. We just defended that with 16. Oh my gosh, that's so good. But like Quincy could not even defend camel leads because we have no... None of our heroes are to level 5 yet, so Quincy couldn't see camo. And he couldn't see lead at all. And so, Slot is honestly the best here for something like this. I don't think we can replicate this video super easily. Maybe we go for, like, villages. You know, we could do a challenge where we, like, put... So we use some cash drops at the start. And then place down, like, Middle Path Village to give camo lead detection to everything. Um, I don't know who else would work here. Azili couldn't pop purples and stuff. Churchill, like, like there, there's a lot of towers that can't... Or heroes that can hold the stand their ground. But they can't do it, um, like, initially. Sora's, like, the only hero that really works here. So, we're gonna chill here. We have round 95 coming up, which is really, really exciting. Let's save all our abilities. We have $50,000. Let's make sure we don't lose, actually. Let's use a few abilities here. The balloons are starting to ramp up a little bit. We're gonna have to start using abilities here. But we have 200 abilities on hand. Um, we'll spam a few abilities. Just try and take control of these leads here. Um, and we're gonna be using... Let's try and use all 200 abilities. Just because I think it'll look really, really cool here. So, we're gonna get our finger ready on the one key. Spam. Cookie clicker. Cookie clicker skills. Go. Go. Oh my gosh, look at all the swords right there. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. This is easy. That's satisfying. We couldn't even use them all. <laughs> it's popping the two fists. Do you see all the swords right there? There's a ton of swords right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now the question is, can we defend round 88? I think we're good against round 99. Assuming the fortified DDTs aren't too much, we should be able to handle those. I think the BID is probably the biggest struggle right now because these swords, they're not really more upon power, right? It's just because we were able to spam a lot of them that we're able to pop things down. So BID still could be a little bit sketch, and I think round 98 could have a lot of pine power. I honestly say the BF BAD is the scariest thing at this point. I'd be very surprised if we struggle to anything past this, but we'll still check it out. You know, we still got to get through those rounds here. Um, we'll continue spamming stuff here. There are a lot of balloons here, though. I think we are at the point where we have to start spamming abilities. We can't just sit here and do nothing just because there's so many ceramics. Um, but let's keep spamming here. Is this one to level 5 yet? Can this Sada get to level 5? That is the question here. I hope, come on, Sada, you can do it. All right, we'll keep spamming here. Here we go. Round 98. One of the hardest rounds in the game here. I was more scared of round 95, though, honestly. Like, for some reason, like, DDTs just seem like the scariest thing here. Um, let's spam all our abilities. Let's try and use all our abilities. Can we do it? 130 abilities right now. Oh, they're starting to come back. Out spam. Go. It's not popping down the balloons as fast. Oh, no, it is popping them down. Okay. <laughs> Go. Use them all. Oh, it's going to, like, hurt our hand. Okay, we use most of them. Let's try and see if we can get the... Can we get it down to zero? Because they keep regenerating too fast. We need, like, an auto-clicker. Maybe it was, like, a cooldown, because I can't seem to spam it fast enough. Like, I'm trying to spam it really fast. Here's the BID here. We're going to spam as many Sawdust as we can here. 
Uh, I'm like spamming so fast right now. I can't even explain. Like I'm trying to outdo. Like look how fast they're coming back right here. See how fast they're coming back right now? Like like that's how what we had to outdo here. We're shredding the BAD. Infinite Sauros is OP. Beautiful. GG right there. We get a 000 boomerang monkey. And that is Infinite Sauros right there. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want to see any more content with this mod, feel free to let me know in the comments. Have a beautiful day and brush your teeth. And we'll just, yeah, we'll go down to the DDTs. It's kind of funny because the Sauros like attacks DDTs, but she can't do any damage to them, right? GG's.